I'm with Rodolfo right now, and we're gonna go eat some breakfast. But what are we doing today? Uh, we're doing some trekking, I guess, and cold water uh, swimming. Yeah. Brazilian National Park. That's the our objective. Yes. I've never been there, so I'm a tourist as well. So we'll see how it is. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, it's like 1 p.m. That's our breakfast. So guys, here in Brazil they have the hot sauce. It's it's just like oil or vinegar. They throw it in here with these chilies and then it gets hot. But they don't have like salsas or anything like that. It's gonna be good. It's very good. Dude, this guy is definitely. So we came here to the uh, Parque Nacional de Brasilia, the National Park of Brasilia. Dude, that guy is definitely on steroids. But it was... Uh, I saw Rodolfo here that Brazil is one of the biggest users of steroids in the world. And you find guys like that everywhere. Huge guys. Alright. And Rodolfo was also telling me that the vegetation here... This is what the vegetation here looks like if there was no city. Four hour drive from here. Mm -hmm. Like warm pools all the time. Over the noodles. Dude, I should go there <laughs> and record all of that. <laughs> that guy. Hello. I don't know if these are roadrunners. Are these roadrunners? No, my cell phone got going on. So, this is the second trail I've been to in Brazil, and they are well made. I do have to say that all the trails here are pretty nice. Haven't been to nice trails like this since the US. Do you actually like the. I mean, no, it's not like Bali, but. What does Jair mean? So, guys, we just walked all over this park, like five kilometers, and there's those ant hills everywhere. They look pretty cool. But we didn't see any, uh, any other animals. So guys, tonight we're gonna be going to, um, not downtown, but they have small cities outside of Brasilia, around it. It's still Brasilia, but it's like metro area. And I'm gonna be going to one of those downtowns right now, just taking the metro. For this uh, bar, and there's this little. Yeah, you guys hear that? This is the library, and that's the museum over there. We'll see the museum in a second. But here's the library, and there's a bunch of skaters and rollerbladers. I guess this is the place that we're coming to. It's actually a bar of a hotel, I think. And that's in, it's called Spaso, Stasso, Stasso. It's the sound brand. So guys, we made it to the bar. It's not very full, but uh, we're just having a beer here. Look at this, it's a Heineken, but Sao Paulo edition. What's the difference? Oh. <laughs> and it's really, 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 really cool. But uh, I like the, I like the, the atmosphere here. Yeah, it's pretty good. Just needs more people. So guys, I just got interviewed. I just got interviewed from the owner from the bar. They're doing like a little uh, TV show. And they interview me and I'll be in their show and they'll be in my show. In my show. <laughs> Alright guys, so we are back on the subway. We're going to a different city now to go to a different bar. It's different music too. Now we are at Santa Fe Bar. Yeah. And today they are performing Brazilian country music. Yeah, the music that you guys hear is country here. Yeah, it's called uh, country, whatever it's called. Santanero, Santanero, University of It's a little bit of people. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good inside actually. But uh, let's try and see what's up. We'll, we'll have some food first. Having this, which is what? It's congee Congee It's congee Looks good. And then just french fries, some bread, and the... What are these called, dude? Caipirinha. Caipirinha. These are like the famous Brazilian drink. Where 
first of all, the cassacha tastes like tequila. Uh, yeah, because it tastes like a margarita. Uh, no, 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 Oh shit, 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 I know he doesn't us. like the big U.S. corporations, but that's the only place 24/7 in the neighborhood. I know it's weird because in the, Sorry, in the U.S. subways close like at 10, 10 p.m. They never open late. Everything's backwards here. Prices.